This is another archival upload of my previous Mix Critique videos. Again, I apologize for the vertical format that this video is about to switch to. This is 76 through 80. This track was sent in by Michael. <laughs> Not bad so far. I'm liking it from a songwriting perspective. The biggest issue is the drums. The drums sound like they were recorded in a really, probably in a bedroom, but they sound a little muddy, but there's also not enough low end from the kick and the cymbals are really, really washy and you can probably use some overall more compression on the drums. They could be a lot punchier than they currently are. <laughs> Vocals sound good, guitars sound good, bass sounds good. Again, maybe overall a little more compression on everything, just some mix bus compression would probably do a lot for the overall energy of the track. <laughs> Yeah, overall not bad. Like I said, I think the drums are the biggest issue. You got some EQ issues in the drums and probably some phase issues in the overhead mics because of how washy the cymbals sound. Other than that, guitar tones are pretty good. Bass tones pretty good. Vocal tones pretty good. Really, everything just needs to be compressed harder and just hit harder in general. I think that's the biggest thing, but overall not bad. The track was sent in by Starlight. I know we don't want to say so it's a little weird, but it's definitely a vibe. The vocals are kind of inaudible. I wish those cut through a little bit better. It definitely needs to be louder overall, but that's more of a mastering thing. But also I feel like it could have some more energy. Like it just feels very constant so far. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of push, pull, up and down kind of thing, but let's see how it goes from here. But I think we're just how used to it. And I just wanted to stay true to you. Yeah, I mean, it just, it feels too steady. Like there's no ups and downs. There's no, there's no discernible peaks and valleys. Like it's just constant, which gets really boring really fast. Oh no, man. I mean, this is really not my genre. So let me just say that to begin with, but the way that it's mixed right now, it's in a weird middle ground. It feels like the production of it has too much energy for it to be as laid back as this mix is. And the mix just in general doesn't have enough energy to match what the production seems like it should have been. So either on the production side of things, you need to make like the actual instrumentals and just all the background elements even more laid back than they are if you want this laid back vibe. Or if you like the way all the parts have been written, then the mix needs to have more energy overall. This track was sent in by Andrew. So far, tonally, everything sounds fantastic. Like it's a really solid mix. The biggest issue so far is more on the mastering side. This is just way, way too quiet. This needs to be a lot louder to compete with other tracks in the genre. Like everybody needs to stop mastering to minus 14 LUFS because that's a bullshit fucking tip. I know that that's like Spotify standard or whatever. It, it's bullshit. Master louder because when I hear a track at this volume, even though the mix is great, sonic Ironically, it sounds good. The fact that it's so much quieter than everything else in the genre just completely detracts from what it could be. That fucking bass line is sick though. Another thing is the snare is poking out a little too much over the top of the whole mix. I would definitely find a way to just tame the top of that snare. All right, man, I'm really torn here because honestly, it is a really solid mix. Like sonically, it sounds great other than a couple of nitpicky things with the drums, but just the overall output volume, just it's taking so much away from where the track needs to be. And again, this is technically a mastering thing, not a mix thing, like mixing it's good, but unless you're planning to send this out to a mastering engineer after, this track needs to be louder. You gotta hit it with a limiter harder on the output. It's like a solid five dB quieter than it needs to be. The song was sent in by Justin. We'll light a fire to tell the sky don't. So far tones are pretty good. There's a little too much auto tune for my personal taste and there's a couple spots where it sounds like the vocals are clipping a little bit. Maybe adjust the overall volume and then adjust the compression settings a bit so that's not as prevalent. Moonlight falling like two lovers afraid of. Okay, I never thought I would say this in my life, but that hi-hat is too quiet. That long Got a lot of really good low end in that kick. That snare sounds great. But again, I think just the overall drum volume needs to come up in the mix. Must have placed the hex on me, I'm victim to the best. There's the bass, finally. I would definitely have bass earlier in the song, but as you know, I'm a bassist, so. 
You, the air is electric like the effects of Rose Corp. Justin, your theater kid is showing. Sounds like everything's climaxing, but the drums are not nearly punchy enough for what they need to be here. Yeah, drums definitely need more energy in this section. All right, so it's a really great song from a songwriting perspective. A little bit too slow of a buildup for me. All of your tones sound fantastic. Like all of the source tones are really, really good. Even any EQ you did on them sounds fantastic. I think the biggest thing I'm hearing is just overall balance. Like certain things need to be brought up more and certain things need to be brought down more. And the drums especially need to hit a lot harder. This was sent in by Guillermo. I'm liking most of it so far, but the biggest thing is that kick is not hitting enough in the low end. And for this kind of a track, I really need a whole lot of sub punch out of the kick. All right, the vocals sound good, but they're too far in the background. They're definitely being covered up by pretty much all of the other instrumentation. In a poppy track like this, vocals are the first and foremost in all of it. So the vocals definitely need to come up more and be a little more present. Yeah, everything below like 200 hertz needs to come up a lot. Like you're just missing all of that low end energy. This song, it has a really good feel, but it would just have so much more energy and it would really be like a fucking bop if it had a ton of low end energy. So from a songwriting perspective, that was a really awesome fucking track. Like that has the makings to be a fantastic, really popular track. It just needs a lot more low end. The vocals need to be more in the front and probably some harder mix bus compression to really get it moving a little bit more than it is. But tonally, all the source tracks sound great. Those three things, more low end, vocals up front, and a little more compression, and this is gonna be a great song.